Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you Apple Credit Card Review, how it actually works. But before we start, hurry up and check out this over just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering what is Apple Card here or what is the Apple Credit Card and how does it, is, does it actually work? So we'll be discussing those details here. So Apple Credit Card is a credit card offered through a partnership between Apple and Goldman Sachs. So it's designed to be a seamless extension of Apple's ecosystem, integrating closely with Apple Pay and uh, your Apple devices like iPhone or the Apple Watch. Now, how does it actually work? So the great thing about uh, the Apple credit card here is that they have some cashback reward. Now, when you use the physical Apple card to make purchases, uh, you'll earn 1% cashback. So this is a straightforward, it applies to all purchases whenever or whether you're shopping online or in store. Now, if you use the Apple card with Apple Pay on your iPhone or Apple Watch, you earn 2% cashback on your purchases. So this is quite significant boost from a standard 1% and it's a great perk if you frequently use Apple Pay. Now. If for certain retailers like Exxon, Uber, T-Mobile, Nike, Panera, or in this case, Walgreens, you earn like 3% cashback. So this high rate is only available at specific locations. So it's worth checking if you shop at these places regularly. Now, they also have like Apple integrations here. So the card is actually designed to work best with, or in this case, when linked with Apple Pay. So if you're already using Apple Pay, you'll find that earning 2% cash back on all your purchases is easy and convenient. Now, managing your card is actually quite simple through the Apple Wallet app on your iPhone. So you can track your spending, view your cash back, or uh, in this case, manage your card all in one place. Now, what are the things that we could do here as well? So we have a saving account here. So you can deposit the cashback you earn into Apple Savings Account, which offers a competitive interest rate of 4.15% APY. So this is a nice feature if you want to grow your savings while enjoying your rewards. Now they also have a physical card here. So the physical Apple card is made of titanium, which is a unique and durable material. It has a sleek and minimalist design, which some people find quite appealing here. Now, what about their installments here for Apple purchases? So if you're buying Apple products, you can take advantage of the option to pay in monthly installments. So this can make larger purchases more manageable without incurring interest if paid off within the agreed time frame. Now, what are the benefits that you might expect from this specific card here. So the Apple card offers up to like what said what we said before a 3% cashback, which is quite competitive, especially for purchases at select retailers. So this can be significant advantage if you frequent those stores. Now, for those who are heavily invested in Apple products, the Apple card integrates effortlessly with your iPhone, Apple Watch, and up other Apple devices. This makes managing and using card really, or in this case, very convenient. Now, the Apple Savings account with a 4.15% APY is a way to grow your cashback rewards. It's higher than what many traditional savings account actually offers. Now, they also, again, they have a premium physical card here, which is actually made of titanium. So not only it actually looks impressive, but it is also more durable and traditional plastic, or in this case, more durable than the traditional plastic cards. Now, since we have our benefits here, what are the potential drawbacks that you might uh, get in here? So... Uh, first is going to be the limitations that they, it actually offers. So to fully benefit from the Apple card, you need to be a user of Apple products. So if you prefer other brands or don't use Apple Pay, you'll miss out on higher cashback rates and the card's full potential. And the restricted 3% cashback categories here. So the 3% cashback is only available at specific retailers, which might not align with your shopping habits. So if you don't frequent those shops at the stores, you won't be able to take full advantage of these benefits. And also they don't have travel rewards here. So Apple Card lacks travel related perks and partners, which might be a drawback if you're looking for a card that offers rewards for travel spending or has trouble protection. Now, if you want to add other people to your account as authorized users, 
Now, in this case, it is not possible with Apple Card. So this could be inconvenient if you typically share your credit card with family members. And unlike some other credit cards that offer uh, special promotion or cashback de uh, deals or various retailers, the Apple Card doesn't have many of these uh, extra offers. Now, Apple Credit Card is a solid choice if you're already deeply embedded into the Apple ecosystem and use Apple Pay regularly. It provides good cashback rates and integrates well with Apple's suite of products, offering a sleek design and high yield savings option. However, if you're not an Apple user or prefer a more versatile credit card with broader rewards categories and travel perks, it might not be the best fit for you. So before deciding, make sure to evaluate how well this card aligns with your spending habits and whether its benefits outweigh any limitations. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.